Dear students, uh, today I will uh, explain uh, your exercise of the lesson in our vision of Pakistan. In this exercise, we have noun phrase and noun clause. Uh, what is noun phrase and what is noun clause? First of all, you should know about noun. As you know, all naming words are nouns. Or noun is the person, place, or thing. Now, what is noun phrase? Any phrase which is used in place of noun, we call it noun phrase. Any phrase which is used in place of noun, we call it noun phrase. Now, what is phrase? Phrase is a group of words which does not give complete meaning. Now, this group of words might be two words, it might be three words, four words. It depends upon the, the structure of the sentence. So, phrase, group of words which does not give complete meaning. Now, if this phrase is working as a noun, we call it noun phrase. Now, the same, in the same way, and if we have a clause, what is clause? Clause a group of words having subject and predicate. Having subject and predicate. Now, if the same clause, which, which has subject and predicate, if it works as a noun, we call it noun clause. So, noun, noun phrase, and noun clause. Today we will discuss it. But before going to start it in detail, let me tell you about the different structures of a noun phrase. So noun phrase might have different shapes, different structures. So let's take a start. Open your books at page 29. Now you see we have this first sentence, we have this main and then we have is mortal, man is mortal. Now you see, this is a sentence having this subject, man, and then we have this predicate, is mortal. This is predicate. Now you see, this is subject and predicate combined, we call it clause. We call it a clause because the definition of clause is any group of words having subject and predicate. It is clause, but it is also a sentence because it gives complete meaning. So, this is a sentence which has only one clause, so we call it a simple sentence. Any sentence having one clause, we call it a simple sentence. Now, you see, in this, in place of this noun man, we can use also a phrase the man. The man is mortal. The man is a model. So we have added an additional word. Though the main word is a, or the keyword is now man. This is now. But we have also added a word, the. The is basically part of speech. This is known as an article. But here in noun phrase, we call it determiner. Determiner. We call it a determiner. Any word which introduces a noun, like here we have man, this D introduced this man noun. So any word which introduces a noun, we call it determiner. So this is a phrase. Now you see this phrase is working in place of this man. Though we have a keyword man, so this is noun phrase. The man is noun a phrase. The next we have the old man. Once again, you see, we have a keyword man, which is noun. Now, see, we have added two words more. This all is basically adjective, as you know. And this is, once again, the is determinant. We have done it previously. We have discussed it. Now, you see, the all. All is adjective, but here, in noun phrase, we call it modifier. We call it a modifier. This is modifier. Adjective is working as a modifier because it modifies man and these articles. So once again we have a group of words. This is a phrase. It does not the old man. The old man, the old so the old man what? So it is a phrase which does not give complete meaning. So this is another structure, determiner plus modifier and plus noun. So the old man is once again, this is a noun phrase. Another phrase we have once again. Or here we use all as a modifier, so this is all is modifier and is a noun. So it is also a noun phrase which is a combination. 
which is a collection of a modified and noun. So all men is also a noun phrase. This is another structure. This is in another structure. Then we have once again the old man of is mortal, old man is mortal, the man of Abtabar. Now once again we have this D determiner. Man is noun. And of Abtabar, this of Abtabar tells us about man. This is, though it is a preposition phrase, starts with a preposition it's with a noun Abtabar, but it works as an adjective phrase as well. Because it tells us about man. Adjective phrase. But here this adjective phrase is known as also is also known as modified modified any word which modifies a noun we call it modified so this is a phrase which modifies this main noun so it's modified now you see this we call it as this modified comes after this noun which is a key word so we call it post modified we call it a post modified we call it post Modifier. The next, in the next, we have so the all the man of Abtabar is mortal. Now you see the rest of the sentence is mortal is predicate, but the all the man of Abtabar this is noun phrase, which is also working as a subject because we are discussing the man of Abtabar, so this is our subject as well. But here this subject is a noun phrase, and predicate is mortal. Then we have old, this is once again old is a modifier, men is keyword now, and of Abtaba, this is once again, this is post modifier. So this is before, is this, this modifier is before this noun, so we call it a pre modifier, this is known as pre modifier, and this one is post modifier. Because these both words, this is phrase and this is word, this both tells us about this man noun, it modifies this uh, man noun. So this is post modified because it comes after this noun which it, mo it modifies. And the first old, old comes before man because it, uh, it comes before man noun. So this is what we call pre-modified. So this is the man of Abtabar is mortal. This is another noun phrase which is subject as well. Then we have the old man. The once again modified uh, determiner, or is pre modifier, main noun keyword, and this one is once again post modifier. Then we have the last structure, we have determiner, or modifier, main is key word noun, then who is L. The man who is L now, see, this is a clause. And this clause tells us about this man, so we call it adjective clause. Adjective clause because it works as an adjective, it tells us about this man. So any word it tells about man means noun. So it's, this is an adjective phrase, but here it also working as a post modifier because it, tells, it modifies this noun man. So combine the old man who was ill. This is noun clause, sorry, noun phrase. Okay, and it was the subject is running, is a running now. Now you see this is predicated. So these are structures. The old man who was in this is one structure. The old man of Abtabar, another structure. Old man of Abtabar. So these are different structures of a uh, noun phrase. Now you see here. Let's take a start from uh, your book. Here we have. Uh, noun phrase these are the sentences which uh, have been taken from the book uh, at page 29 uh, 27 so now you see here for example we have dog dog frightens or frighten me now you see dog noun which is also subject and frighten me it tells us about subject so any uh, means part of the sentence which tells us about subject this is predicate Clear? Now you see here dog is one noun. If we add big, big dog. So big tells us about dog. So this is working as a pre-modifier. Once again, like this one, here we use the modifier old, but here we have big. 
so big is basically adjective but here it works as a modifier so combined with alone we can say dogs frighten me but if we replace this dog dogs with the, a noun phrase so you will say big dogs now it becomes a noun phrase so this big dogs combined with this is a noun phrase another sentence we have she went outside to play hockey now if we replace this she in place of she we put a noun phrase like the little girl the little girl d is determinant little is modified and girl is noun keyword means in noun phrase the keyword would be noun or pronoun noun or pronoun so here we have the keyword noun clear then we have the next step the little girl so this is combined the little girl this is a noun phrase we have to play to play to play is infinitive you know this is infinitive to plus verb when it is working as a noun we call it infinitive now to play hockey now you see to play hockey so it starts with the to end with the hockey so this is infinitive phrase Combined to play hockey, this is infinitive phrase. This are to play hockey is also a phrase. It does not give complete meaning. To play hockey, to play hockey, so what? So it does not complete. So this words we call infinitive phrase. But we are talking about basically noun phrase. Now the next word, next sentence we have don't touch that. Now you see that. That is a pronoun. So noun phrase can be used in place of noun or pronoun but here we have pronoun now so we remove this pronoun we replace this pronoun with those books so those is modifier and books is a noun so this is also a noun phrase this is a noun phrase don't touch those books so those books is a noun phrase and it works as an object here you see it works as a subject but here it works as an object those books so noun phrase can be used as a subject and as an object as well now you see the next video she she is pronoun she is pronoun we replace she can with salma so we replace salma which is a noun and she which is pronoun we replace she and salma which is a noun with a noun phrase so in place of she we use the girl so the girl these determine girl is a noun so the girl this is a noun phrase combined with the girl is a noun phrase the girl came with her in place of Salma we put a noun phrase her sister her is modifier and sister is a noun so now you see it is a noun phrase then we have the next she gave me a big she gave me a big you see here we have a noun phrase uh, having one, two, three, four, five words. Now you see once again we have this determinant, big modifier, peace. Basically, this noun is a, we have this keyword peace. We are basically talking about peace. So determinant modifier and of k of k tells us about peace. So this is what we call post modifier because. It tells us it modifies this noun piece, so this post modifier. So combine a big piece of chalk, this is also a noun phrase. Clear? The next word we have this one. This is also a noun phrase. There are both, both. You see, this is modified, or it is also determinant. Excellent is modified, and teacher is noun, so combine this is also a noun phrase. Then we have a tall. You see, this A. Once again, this is a noun phrase. Atar is determinant. Talk is modified. Once again, good is also modified. Good looking. And then we have man. This is the keyword noun. Outside also tells us about this one. So this also, this is post modified. Okay, so this combined is noun phrase. Now you see, we have who wants to take to talk to you who wants to talk to you the, this is a call good man outside who wants to talk to you this is one sentence and we have this one noun phrase now the next we have here are they are in the in the black in the big garden big garden the big garden this is, you see determinant 
this is modified and this is noun. So, this is what we call noun phrase. If we add this in with it, so then it becomes a preposition with regard it starts with a preposition in this preposition and garden is a noun. So any phrase starts with a preposition is with noun, so we call it a, a prepositional phrase. Now you see here this prepositional phrase and noun phrase are means combined. So we in grammar, in grammar, in technical terms we call it a embedded. We call it a embedded. When there comes two phrases combined like this one, so we call it a embedded. Embedded. Clear? So it's embedded. Now another we have he is, he is such a kind man, such a kind man. So you see this is a deter determined, this is also determined, this is modified and this is now determined and determined now. So it's also a noun phrase. Such a kind man, he is such a kind man. Now you see we have the next, that is a big one, a big one. This is a determiner, this is a modifier, one is a pronoun. Now you see this, is, we have pronoun over here, the head, the keyword in this noun phrase we have pronoun. So this is also a noun phrase. Then we have they both, they both. Now you see they both. This is now you see this a noun phrase because they both. Clear? This is they both. We don't know. Need the truth. The truth. The determinant and truth is a noun. So this is also a noun phrase. The truth is a noun phrase. They both. This is also a noun phrase. Now let's talk about uh, noun clause. Cl clause, any clause which which is uh, working or which replaces a noun, which that is known as a noun clause. Now you see, we have. I did not realize that. Now this that is pronoun. This that is a pronoun. Now we want to replace this pronoun with a noun clause. Now you see, so clause should have subject and predicate. Now you see, we have this subject you and what coming this predicate so combined we call it a clause but this is subordinate clause why because it is preceded by a subordinate conjunction isse pehle subordinate conjunction aa raha hai lihaza aisa clause jisse pehle subordinate conjunction aata hai to subordinate clause hota hai now you see that you are coming this is a clause and it has replaced this pronoun that so any clause which which can replace a noun or a pronoun we call it a noun clause so that you are coming this is a noun clause this is a noun clause yaad rakhe mostly noun clause comes after verb mostly it is a very simple formula mostly noun clause comes after verb now you see that I did not realize that you are coming. Now you see that you are coming is a noun clause. It comes after this realized work. Clear? The next week oh, we have the problem is money. Money is now. You see, now this money is replaced by a noun clause. That no one came to the party. The problem is that no one come to the party. Now you see this money is replaced by this noun clause that no one came to the party. This is a noun clause. The prize will go. The prize will go to Aslan. Now you see to Aslan. To Aslan. Once again, this comes after verb. You see, this clause comes after the verb go. The prize will go. The prize will go to whoever answers the question. So now to whoever answers the question, this is a noun clause. It has replaced this uh, noun Aslan. So this is a noun clause. I hope that you have understood noun phrase, noun and noun clause. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.